Hi everyone, in this wildlife photography Lightroom tutorial I'm going to show you the full edit on this elephant image, this being the raw file and this being the final result. The first thing I'm going to do is set my profile to Adobe Standard and I just want to eliminate the black clipping to start with so I'm just going to drag up the black slider. Now looking at this image overall, I've got one big problem. I feel like the top left hand corner is very bright. So I want to eliminate that and I want to increase the exposure basically of this middle section. So the first thing I'm going to do, I want to create a linear gradient. I just want to darken down the top left hand section a bit. And then I want to darken down basically like a vignette. So I'm going to create this radial gradient over this area. If you can see this portion of the sky, it's also quite dark and I want to brighten that a little bit or create the effect of brightening by darkening everything else. So I'm going to invert that selection. Maybe just change the feather a little bit there. Maybe increase the size and I'm going to darken that down. So the image is looking a bit dark, but I'm going to sort that out now. This area at the top's also still too bright. So another linear gradient on the corner. Just darken that down a little bit. So you can see we've corrected the edge brightness there and uh, made the, the inner brightness a bit better. So now what I'm going to do is I want to fix the contrast that's a bit flat at the moment, but the exposure is a lot better. So I'm going to drag up this white slider quite a lot. I'm going to hold down the Alt button just to see if I'm clipping anything. So at plus 100, there is no clipping. And just going to drop the exposure a little bit there. And I'm liking the contrast in the sky. I feel like the blacks are a little bit too dark there. Just going to raise up the blacks a bit. It's going to increase the brightness somewhat as well. So I'll drop that exposure down again. And maybe add in some shadows just to recover some of the shadow detail, especially in the elephants there. Okay, I want to darken down the grass at the bottom. So I'm going to create another linear gradient. Just drop that down there. Just drop the exposure down a little bit just to create more of a vignette effect. And I think I'm going to, again, darken down the sky. I'm going to create a radial gradient basically over the elephant here. I'm going to invert that and darken that down a little bit there. I might increase the feathering and just darken that down again. I might play with the highlight slider. I feel like the brighter areas need to still be a bit brighter. So I'm going to hold down Alt again. Increase the highlights. Perhaps something around about there. And maybe some more of the blacks. Okay, so that overall is looking nice. I want to add in some fine tuning using some masking. But before we get into some masking, I want to address the noise in the image. This is taken with a very old camera and there's quite a bit of noise. I'm just going to turn off that sharpening. And while we're here, I just want to go change and adjust the lens correction settings. I'm just going to click remove chromatic aberration and enable profile correction. You can see it's just fixed a little bit of that distortion. Although I don't really want to remove the vignetting from that lens correction there. Okay, so I'm going to go into denoise and I'm going to use the AI denoise here. Simple click. And I'll probably use a setting of about 40% for this. It's not very noisy. It's also 800, but it is an old camera. So I think 40 will be fine. I'm going to click enhance. And now that's going to create a new DNG file for me. Okay, so we've got the new DNG file. There's the nice noise free image. So what I want to do while we at this pixel level is there's a lot of spots that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to just simply click the spot removal tool and just by adjusting the size of my brush and using the content aware remove, I'm just going to click these little areas and just get rid of some of these issues here. I know there's a little bird or something here. I'm not sure what this is. I'm going to get rid of that because that's very distracting. Now, if you look at the image like this, there are some distractions. That tree right on the edge there. The elephants in the background I'll leave. I find this grass here very distracting as well. So I think I might, just for simplicity's sake, remove this tree. Very simple. Content aware fixes that nicely. And let's see what it does with this grass here. There's a little spot there I might get rid of as well. I'm going to click on this grass. 
click that away and that's done a very nice job. So I want to work on the sky to start with. So I'm going to create a mask. I'm going to select sky and I'm pretty sure it's gonna do a good job at selecting the sky here. Now a trick that I've seen, if you have a sky selection, you can see it's bleeding over into the animals here. For some reason, if you hit the alt button and you intersect with select sky again, it cleans up all of those edges. Why it does it? I've got no idea, but it seems to work really nicely. So I've got a very nice sky selection here. So I'm just going to double click and call this mask sky because we might reuse that just now. I'm just going to click the show overlay. So now what I want to do is I want to increase the whites in the sky here a little bit. Just want to add in some more contrast. It's making the sky very blue, which I will fix shortly. And I want to add in some clarity and really make that sky nice and dramatic. And I think this is where I might drop the saturation slightly. Make it a bit more gray instead of that very dark blue. What I might do next is create a linear gradient. I'm just going to darken the top of the image. Add some more mood and maybe add in some more clarity. Clarity really works nicely on a very dramatic sky like this. And that's looking pretty nice there. Another little distraction. So I'm going to remove that, zoom out. And now I want to work on the animal and the landscape. But before I do that, I just want to get rid of the green. I want to desaturate the green in the image a little bit. And just take it down a bit. So I'm not a greatest fan of green in an image, but and I might increase the saturation of the oranges and maybe the yellows a little bit. Maybe something like that. It's a little bit artistic, but I quite like it. Okay, so I want to increase the saturation on the elephant. I might drop down some of the highlights on the ground here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate and invert the sky selection. I want to select the animal and the landscape. So I'm going to click duplicate and invert mask. And that gives me that there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract select sky just to clean up that sky. You can see it's selected a little bit of that sky there. So similar to the trick I showed you with intersecting that sky selection, I'm going to subtract a sky from that and that just cleans that up there. You can see it's all disappeared. So now we've got a nice, let's just call it foreground. So we've got that nice selection there. So I want to just remove the overlay for now. Once you increase the saturation a bit and perhaps warm it up slightly, maybe add in a little bit of magenta and remove some of the highlights. And I will bring back some of the highlights on the elephant now. If you're looking at that now, I might just drop that saturation a bit. Okay, so I've got this foreground. Now what I want to do is I want to increase the highlights on just the elephant and almost increase the exposure on just the elephant. The landscape is fairly bright, but I feel like the elephants are still a bit too dull. So I'm going to duplicate this foreground mask over here. I'm just going to reset what we did on the previous mask. And I'm just going to take the white slider, increase that white there, and then remove a linear gradient just to remove that bottom selection there or the bottom part of that selection. So you can see we've added some nice highlights onto the elephant there. Just going to come back to the basic panel. I want to increase some of this color and then again, drop more of that green and maybe some of that yellow as well. And here I might then just use this color mixer, increase some of that saturation on the elephant. I'm going to add some clarity to just the elephants. So I'm going to create mask, select subject, that's done and created a nice mask there, but I want to just fix what it's done. It's selected some of the sky. So I'm actually going to click subtract, select sky, and it's taken that away nicely, simple. And then just get rid of that little bit of grass there. So I'm just going to use a paintbrush with auto mask enabled and just paint that away there. Okay, so we've got a nice elephant selection here. Let's just name it elephant and click and change the clarity and maybe add some shadows just to increase the exposure a bit and maybe some of those highlights, really make them pop. And play with the saturation here. The elephant's looking a bit red. I want it to look a little bit less red, so I'm going to adjust this hue slider. Maybe a little bit towards, a little bit more of a yellow color, very slightly there. I'm going to add a bit more contrast to the whole image. 
add some more shadows and I feel like the blues have got out of control again just going to drop the blue and I think I might adjust the hue of the blue as well just drop that to maybe minus two or so drop the saturation again make it look a bit more gray instead of very dark blue I'm going to see what this color grading does I normally add a bit of blue to the image I don't know what that's going to look like with that sky so I've just added that in there I'm going to change the blending to just affect the dark shadows something like that I think I might add a little bit of clarity just to make it a little bit more grungy if you want to call it that or a bit more dramatic Maybe add a little bit of shadows here now what I want to do is there's still a bit of distraction here on the right hand side and I feel like there's a bit of dead space here I'm going to crop the image I'm going to keep the same aspect ratio and I can either get rid of those elephants on the right hand side there which I think I might do and maybe go for something like this this is actually a very nice symmetry in this image. Got the little elephants looking to the right, the big elephant looking to the left. And we've got a bit of a bright patch in the sky here, which is helping balance the image a little bit. It's a very isolated bright patch, and it's got quite a strong presence there, if you want to call it that. I might add another vignette, just a, quite a broad vignette here. It's looking pretty nice. I might just adjust this tone curve. I just want to make the highlights a bit brighter. And a bit more contrast to the image. I'd make this a touch warmer. And I think looking back, I'm going to desaturate these elephants a bit, make them a look a little bit more gray. And just looking back now, I want to go back to these elephants and just raise the blacks a bit. I feel like they are still a bit too dark. Maybe a bit of shadows there. Okay, to finish off the image, I'm going to add some sharpening. And probably add quite a bit of masking to get rid of the sharpening in the sky just by holding down Alt. Very fine radius and detail. And uh, just going back into that detail there, I feel like the tusks on the elephant are too bright. So I'm going to go to Luminance Range, click on that. I'm going to intersect that with a brush because I only want to adjust that little section there. Just click and paint there. What I'll do is I'll subtract a sky selection to get rid of that section there and just drop the exposure a little bit, mainly the highlights. I feel like those tusks are a bit too bright there. Let's just look at the histogram. It's leaning more towards the left hand side, so I might just increase the exposure a little bit more and then maybe drop a bit of these docks just on the tone curve to add a little bit more of a bit of contrast. So this is the raw file and this is the final result and if you want to watch another full edit on a wildlife photograph check out this video next for the full edits of this lion image in Lightroom.